Thank you, Tony. The latest developments on the investigation into Fall River's first homicide of the year. We brought you this story as it was breaking last night at 10. We were in court this afternoon as the suspect faced a judge, and we're learning more tonight about the victim. Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh was in court for today's arraignment and joins us now live from Fall River with the latest. Kate. Well, the shooting happened just a few blocks from where we are live tonight outside the Fall River Justice Center on South Main Street. And just a few hours ago, we were inside district court when the suspect was arraigned on account of murder. Family, friends, and the mother of 24-year-old Maurice Timberlake filled the Fall River District Courtroom to witness his alleged killer, 19-year-old Keyshawn Workman of Fall River, be arraigned for murder and held without bail. Eyewitness News was there at South Main and Morgan Streets Wednesday just after 4.30 in the afternoon when police said they found Timberlake shot seven times at point-blank range. One of those uh, striking in his head, several in his chest and in his shoulder. The state alleges Workman then ran off toward Morgan Street and was arrested by Corky Rowe. He allegedly admitted to having the gun and shooting Timberlake as retaliation for a suspected shooting in Fall River two years ago. In court, Workman pleaded not guilty. I can't even believe that they did this to him. Shannon Chantel Keating says Timberlake went by the name Biz. She sent us these photos. He was like one of those people that were like, oh, I'm going to go beat this one up and that one up, but he never really would harm anybody. If He would only be there for you, if anything. We dug deeper and found Timberlake, the victim, had an extensive criminal record. Bristol County District Attorney Thomas Quinn told us Timberlake was shot as he was leaving court for a dangerousness hearing Wednesday. The state wanted him held without bail on charges of domestic assault on his pregnant girlfriend. The judge let him go on conditions such as wearing a GPS monitor. And the suspect, Keyshawn Workman, was actually on probation at the time of the shooting. So new at 6 tonight, hear from the district attorney about how he might have gotten his hands on a gun. Live in Fall River, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News. Tonight, the suspect accused of Fall River's first homicide of the year is being held following his arraignment this afternoon. The deadly shooting was first breaking last night at 10 and 11. Police say the victim was 24-year-old Maurice Timberlake, and we're learning tonight his accused killer was out on probation at the time. So how was he able to get his hands on a gun? Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh joins us live from Fall River with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom. Kate. We're live outside the Fall River Justice Center tonight. Earlier today, I counted 12 court officers in district court trying to keep the peace as that suspect was arraigned on account of murder. Just blocks from where 24-year-old Maurice Timberlake was shot and killed Wednesday, 19-year-old Keyshawn Workman pleaded not guilty to a count of murder inside Fall River District Court Thursday. The state alleges Workman admitted to police he shot Timberlake as retaliation for a suspected shooting two years ago. Police say Timberlake was shot seven times at point-blank range in the forehead, chest, and shoulder at the corner of South Main and Morgan Streets in Fall River. It's, it's a very uh, disturbing case. Uh, 4.30 in the afternoon, busy time of day, public street, bus stopped right uh, in the area. The DA said Timberlake was shot when he was leaving court Wednesday. A judge had released him with a GPS monitor in relation to a charge of domestic assault on his pregnant girlfriend. The suspect, Workman, was on probation. We asked DA Quinn how he possessed a 9mm handgun. It's another example of just the, the illegal firearms that are out in the street and, and the carnage that they... they uh, uh, cause. It's very, very discouraging. Workman was held without bail. This was the city's first homicide of 2018. Workman is expected back in court on March 15th. Live in Fall River tonight, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.